Dennis Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about control structure sequences. And we had seen that in a control structure sequence that all the statement has to be executed in a specified order and that a statement cannot be skipped and that a, a statement uh, has to be executed only once. Today, we are going to look at another topic, what is a selection control structure? And on to that particular journey, we are going to talk about its definition, types of selection, and finally, we are going to talk about the implementation. So let's start and see actually what it is a selection control structure. So basically, when we are talking about a selection control structure, we are talking about uh, the ones which are based on a condition. So uh, they are actually based on a condition. So that is the most important thing for us to understand. And that the statement, they are only executed when the condition is true. So they are only executed when this particular condition it is true. And finally, their statement, other statements, they are ignored when the condition is false. So uh, other statements are ignored when the condition it is false. So basically, that is what we call a selection control. Now, how many types are there? Basically, there are three types. So what are the types of selection? So the types of selection, there are three of them. So let's come to the first one. The first one, it is what you call uh, the if statement. The second one is what you call the if else statement. And the third one is what we call the switch statement. So what is the if statement? If statement perform an action if the condition is true. So it performs an action when the condition it is true. And actually it skips the action. So it ignores the action when the condition it is false. What about the if else statement? The if else statement, it performs an action just like the if statement when the condition is true. However, it performs another action if the condition it is false. And what about the switch statement? The switch statement performs several action based on a value of an expression. So basically these are the three types of uh, selection control. So let's uh, try to implement. So we are going to implement by simply taking up a number and putting up a condition and see if that particular condition it is true, then it will execute. If it is false, then it will ignore. So basically, we are going to put up two conditions. When it is true, then actually it's going to uh, uh, give up an action. When it is false, it's going to ignore that particular action. So let's go to dev C++ and try to put up a particular condition and see what happens. So here yeah, we can use what you call, we can initialize a variable called A and we give it up a value, let's say of 20. And then we are putting up a condition using up an if statement. So if you're saying A, 
is greater than or equals to 18, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to print these particular words that you are an adult. So this basically, this is what uh, will happen uh, for your program. So let's run our program. But here we are seeing actually our condition it is true. So this condition it is true, then we are going to see the words you are an adult. So let's run this particular program and see what happens. So Okay, so we are seeing here you are an adult. So uh, this condition is true. Now let's change this condition actually to be false and see what happens. So we are changing this condition, putting up less than or equals to 20. So this condition it is false because we are seeing that uh, actually A is greater than. So let's see what happens. So when we run this particular program, let's see what happens. It doesn't give us anything. It has ignored this particular statement. It did not print. So uh, that makes up the end of our selection control statement and give us the end of this particular lesson. However, don't forget to subscribe in our last lesson. Thank you.